All right, draw the Lewis dot structure for water. Well, we know that it's going to have to be HOH because hydrogens only can form one bond, and if you put a hydrogen in the middle of that structure, then that hydrogen would have to form two bonds. So what I'm saying is this cannot happen. It couldn't be HHO because these would have to bond, and this hydrogen can't form these two bonds. Remember, hydrogen can only form one bond. So we know that the structure has to be HO. H, and that's just the general skeleton for that molecule. Oxygen has six valence electrons because it's in group 6A, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hydrogen has one valence electron. How are these atoms going to combine together so that each one is stable? Hydrogen, remember, wants two electrons. Oxygen wants eight electrons, so they share. Remember that the difference in the electronegativity between hydrogen and oxygen is very similar. So the hydrogen doesn't just give its electron up, it shares. And hydrogen is a non-metal, so remember that when the non-metals combine, it forms covalent bonds. So we knew that this was going to share. And this hydrogen wants to go and find a single electron. These guys were already paired, so let's just kind of connect the dots there. And that looks pretty ugly, so now let's redraw with the oxygen and then the water. So all I did was just took the elements, drew the valence electrons, so the Lewis dot structure for the atoms, and then played connect the dots. It looks ugly, so let's redraw. And more, the more times you work through these problems, you won't have to redraw. You'll just be able to say, okay, draw the Lewis dot structure for water. Here it is. We knew that also oxygen wants to form two bonds and then have two lone pairs. That follows. That looks great. Oxygen now has two, four, six, eight valence electrons. Oxygen's happy. Hydrogen has its two electrons. So each of those hydrogens has its complete duet. That is the correct Lewis dot structure for water. You could also have drawn it for just the Lewis dot structure like this, but this doesn't give as good of a picture of what the molecule actually looks like in three dimensions. So I prefer going ahead and showing it with this bent geometry because that's actually what water looks like. So now let's do another one. Let's draw the Lewis dot structure for ammonia. Remember that ammonia is NH3, ammonium is NH4+. So let's just do the Lewis dot structure for ammonia. And this is what's in a lot of cleaning materials, ammonia, NH3. You've probably smelt it before. It's actually a gas, but when it's a cleaning material, it's dissolved into an aqueous solution. So ammonia has a formula of NH3, and we know that the hydrogens are going to have to surround the nitrogen. So we'll put the hydrogens around that nitrogen. And now let's fill in the valence electrons. Nitrogen is in group 5A, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 valence electrons. Hydrogen's in group 1A, so it has one valence electron. And it becomes pretty apparent what's going to happen. They're going to form covalent bonds. So that now nitrogen has its complete octet, two, four, six, eight valence electrons, and hydrogen has its complete duet with its single bond. And this follows the rules that nitrogen wants to form three bonds with one lone pair.